We begin tonight with breaking developments to one of the biggest questions since the arrest. Will the McDonald's employee who essentially hand delivered the suspect receive the full $110,000 reward? We have answers tonight. Good evening. I'm Paul Legron and I'm Laura Harris and tonight the Crime Stoppers organization is changing their mind. They now say they will pay the McDonald's manager. Clifton French is live outside of the Tampa Police Department tonight and Clifton, according to the Crime Stoppers rules, technically she was ineligible, but clearly they had a change of heart. Yeah, that's because she walked up to that officer and she didn't call the number listed or submit that tip online. Now we've been asking Crime Stoppers if that's the right thing to do. And this afternoon, they made an exception. It did not meet the Crime Stoppers category for the $5,000 to be paid on our part to be paid out. The billboards were hard to miss $100,000, Seminole Heights murders and a phone number. However, the fine print very important if you're looking to get paid. So that was all put out there from day one. Debbie Carter is the president of Crime Stoppers Tampa Bay, the agency responsible for getting the word out. The majority of the reward money was put up by other agencies in order to get the five grand from Crime Stoppers. The person has to call through either the tip line, the mobile app, or the website to be eligible for the reward. In this case, a tip like that could have given the suspect time to flee. Howell Donaldson was arrested at this McDonald's because a co-worker approached an officer. She was doing the right thing in contacting law enforcement, and my understanding is it was an officer within McDonald's at the time. Now, why offer money then? For some people, it is an incentive. Although Carter says there is a loophole. Which is totally out of protocol and which programs don't normally do is we could pay it out of another fund if the board decides to do so. After pressing the local chapter, we learned a vote was called for early this afternoon. Just before 4 p.m., the board gave the go ahead to pay out. One donor already cut a $9,000 check. The remaining $96,000 is still up in the air. Other agencies, including the ATF and FBI, are still going through the process of approving the reward. And the Tampa Police Department also tells me tonight that they are working with all the agencies involved to make sure this money, or excuse me, to ensure this woman gets as much of that money as possible. I'm reporting live in Tampa tonight, Clifton French, ABC Action News.